Hey guys, welcome back to Sneha Infinities. As you have seen by the title, I'm gonna take you along to the Nagarjuna Sagar Dam. As you drive towards Nagarjuna Sagar, about 100 kilometers from Hyderabad, the sight of sharks made of dried palm fronds held up by bamboo poles on the side of the road grab one's attention. If curiosity compels you to slow down, you find yourself lured by locals who coax you to stop by and try their palm toddy, locally known as Tartikallu, which is obtained from the sap of the palm tree. During summer months, palm fruit, Tati Munjulu in Telugu, or rice apple is available. A lake developed behind the dam boasts its status as the third largest man-made lake anywhere in the world. The dam derives its name from a nearby hillock and island called Nagarjuna Konda, where an ancient Buddhist guru had once lived. There is a famous and well-maintained museum here that houses rare ancient artifacts from the Buddhist era. Regular boating facilities are provided between Nagarjuna Sagar Reservoir and the island of Nagarjuna Konda. A one-way journey takes approximately 45 minutes. There are several other tourist attractions around Nagarjuna Sagar such as Buddhavanam Sri Salem Wildlife Reserve and Etipotala Waterfalls in Macharla that can be visited as a one-day trip from Hyderabad. The water released from Nagarjuna Sagar right bank canal keeps the Etipotala waterfalls flowing during the rainy season. Apart from this, tourists can also visit temples such as Sai Baba Temple, Maisamma Temple and Konda Mallepalli Venkateshwara Temple. Nagarjuna Sagar Dam is one of the popular weekend getaways from Hyderabad. A sight to behold when its gates are opened during peak flood season in monsoon, Nagarjuna Sagar Dam is a masonry dam across the Krishna River which straddles the border between Guntur district in Andhra Pradesh and Nalgona district in Telangana. The Nizam made the British engineers begin the survey work for this dam in the year 1903. The project's construction was officially inaugurated by the Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru on 10th December 1955 and proceeded for the next 12 years. It is among the first irrigation projects started by Indian government as an element of green revolution. It was the tallest masonry dam in the world at that time and has second largest water reservoir in the country. Due to lack of modern equipment, it was constructed with stone rather than concrete. Constructed between 1955 and 1967, the dam created a water reservoir with gross storage capacity of 11,472 million cubic meters with an irrigation capacity for 9.81 lakh acres of land. The dam is 180 meters tall from its deepest foundation and 1.6 kilometers long with 26 floodgates which are 13 meters wide and 14 meters tall. It is jointly operated by the governments of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. This dam is utilized for drinking water needs, irrigation and hydroelectricity generation. At present, nearly 250 million gallons of water per day is supplied to the Hyderabad city from Nagarjuna Sagar Reservoir. This supply is nearly 50% of the total city water requirement. The right canal, known as Jawahar Canal, is 203 km long and supplies nearly 130 TMC of water for irrigation of 1.1 million acres of land in Guntur and Prakasham districts. The left canal, known as Lal Bahadur Sastri Canal, is 179 km long and irrigates 1 million acres of land in Nalgonda, Suryapet, Krishna, West Godavari and Kamam districts. Aluminati Madhavaredi Lift Irrigation Canal draws water from the Nagarjuna Sagar Reservoir to irrigate 0.37 million acres of land in Nalgonda district. This lift scheme with pump house located near Puttamgandi village on the left bank of Krishna River also supplies nearly 20 TMC of water for the drinking water needs of Hyderabad city. The turbines for power generation are located towards Nalgonda district. For the location and more details about the project, please check the description down below.
Thanks for watching.